In this presentation, we will discuss inventory tracking options within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in QuickBooks in the Home tab. We currently have the Open Windows open by selecting the View dropdown up top and Open Windows. We're going to be discussing inventory and how to track the inventory. Before we do so, want to talk about a few different options we have for tracking inventory. So let's discuss what we're talking about first. First, we're going to take a look at an invoice here. So if we were to create an invoice, selecting this invoice, then uh, we want to be able to build something so that we can make and fill out the invoice as easily as possible. And then QuickBooks uses the invoice in order to generate the financial statements. So we want to be able to just be able to take this item list and select the item that we have. If it be inventory related or a service item, either should be listed here and we can just pick whatever item and then it will give us the cost of that item and allow us to invoice the client the same for a sales receipt. Uh, now we only have the service items here which we have set up in the past. The service items uh, are something we can select and of course the rate would come up. We want to do the same thing with the inventory items. The service items don't deal with inventory however and they don't have to deal with that tracking of inventory so they are a bit more simplified in that way. When we have inventory that we need to track there's a couple different options we have. We could track it within QuickBooks, within the system of QuickBooks, entering the, the inventory into QuickBooks and allowing QuickBooks to record the inventory that is still on hand and has been uh, left the system. That would be a perpetual system, meaning every time we record an invoice, it's not only going to record the sales price, in this case the sales price is a service item, but let's pretend that this was a piece of inventory. It will not only record that, uh, that sales price, it will also record the cost of goods sold and reduction of the inventory, even though that information is not on the invoice, because we don't want to bill the client or tell the client the cost although we do want the uh, system to track the cost of the inventory. So this service item then is going to be doing more work when we talk about uh, selling inventory within QuickBooks. Now tracking inventory within QuickBooks can be a little difficult. It's a little bit more tedious, a little bit more complicated in order to track uh, the inventory, especially if we have a lot of different types of inventory. So it's best practice to put it into the system and use a perpetual inventory system as we create invoices. In other words, it then reducing the uh, cost, the inventory and recording the cost of goods sold at the time that we make the sale. However, if we have a small system, a small uh, company, and uh, we may not want to track all the inventory in the system using a perpetual system, in which case we may not use uh, QuickBooks uh, inventory component of QuickBooks to track the inventory. We may use some outside system. We may just want to count our inventory at the end of the month and decide how much of the inventory has been uh, used. That would be a system that would be a periodic system that we can do. And so if you wanted to set up a system in that format, for example, you may uh, set up a worksheet that would basically track your inventory. So this would be the purchases of the inventories. Uh, then we, we're going to sell the inventory and this would be the inventory that we would have left. In other words, you may want to set up a system where you track the inventory that you, that you purchased in some worksheet such as an Excel worksheet and possibly then uh, count the inventory at the end of the time period and decide how much of the inventory you had sold on a periodic basis. If you set up a system like that, what, what you want to do is basically when you purchase the inventory, you're, you're going to put it into the, the inventory and then every month you'll decide how much of that inventory to expense and you would have to lower the inventory by the amount that you um, that you used and write it off to cost of goods sold. That would be more of a periodic system. If you have a very small amount of inventory, meaning you're just buying and selling very close in time, then maybe you, the easiest thing to do with inventory in that case would just be to write it off when you purchase the inventory. So when you purchase the inventory, you're going to write it off as cost of goods sold at the point of purchase. You're going to expense it at the point of purchase rather than putting it on the books as inventory and then expensing it when you sell it. So the most proper and best way to do it is to use QuickBooks to track the inventory and then record the cost of goods sold perpetually as you sell the inventory. 
Second best way to do it is to track the inventory in an Excel worksheet. Decide how much you have sold periodically and adjust uh, the inventory from inventory to cost of goods sold uh, using a journal entry. And the easiest or third best way to do it, if your inventory is, you don't have a lot of inventory, you're not stockpiling inventory, then you may just want to expense the inventory at the point in time that you purchase it, even though you haven't yet sold it. But because they're going to be closely related, you, that would be the easiest thing to do. And then and that way you wouldn't have to track it through. If you're going to use those systems, a periodic system, or you're going to uh, expense the inventory at purchase, you can set up these inventory items as basically service items. And that will, be, that will allow you to fill out the invoice here, still be able to record the information for the invoice so that you can bill the client. The invoice will still record the sales side of the transaction and the accounts receivable side of the transaction. However, it will not record the reduction of inventory and cost of goods sold because you're doing that outside the system. You're either expensing it at the point of sale, therefore not having inventory on the books at all ever, or you're going to do that manually uh, by just doing a journal entry to lower the inventory and write off the cost of goods sold in accordance with what you calculate in a worksheet on a periodic basis, on a month-to-month -month type basis. So now that we have a few of those options, just to think about some of those options, we will set up the inventory items here, uh, which are a little bit uh, more complex. So that's what we're going to do next. The reason they're going to be more complex is because we're going to add that cost of goods sold feature as we uh, enter the inventory items so that we can track on a perpetual method. That is what we will do next. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.